Doing a little update video here on my aquaponics system and my constant drip system. So I uh, had basically started off uh, wanting to do something with my tank because the nitrates uh, were always pretty uh, pretty high up there around 70, 80 or so a week. Uh, right before I would do my water change, a bunch of uh, full grown peacocks and haps of course. And um, a lot of food being eaten, a lot of uh, fish waste being made, of course. So uh, I would find myself around 80, you know, 70, 80 PPM a week right before I did my water changes, doing about 160 to 170 gallons uh, per week, um, all in one shot usually. And uh, I wanted to make the tank a little bit more automated, so I decided I wanted to, uh, you know, do a uh, pothos planted uh, system over here. I call it the aqu aquaponics, not really aquaponics, but close enough. So I uh, started off with this uh, pothos and bamboo system over here just to help with the nitrates and break that down and try to export a little bit and it has definitely helped big time. It's been a great uh, addition. I really love it. I really like the plants. I think they're really cool. Uh, they're growing crazy out of control. I've cut them back a couple times and replanted them, uh, but they're just growing so fast that uh, they're hitting the floor down here, of course, in a few spots actually thinking about getting one of those garden lattices and, and putting it up the wall here and maybe even across the back we'll see what happens but um, just want to give an update here I, I really do believe that the uh, the pothos plants do help they don't uh, fully take your nitrates uh, your nitrate problem away of course but uh, they do greatly help and um, I'm really happy that I did it so um, you know that would bring my nitrates down to about 40 or so uh, parts per million uh, per week so it definitely helped, uh, but I definitely needed something else. On top of that, uh, I travel for work, so I, you know, I wanted to uh, make this tank a little bit more automated. So I ended up doing an automatic water changer, which is the constant drip system I've shown before in my videos. And I have not done a water change on this tank in about seven and a half months. And I just tested the nitrates like I do once a week, every week. And the API kits, they are completely undetectable. And I have, uh, I use a few different API kits just to make sure they're all in check and they're all working properly, and they are. And then I back them up just to see um, what the readings actually are with the Salifert test kits. It's uh, really a salt water uh, test kit, but it is a uh, very good, accurate test kit. Uh, I do use that for the nitrates on this tank. So the, uh, even with the Salifert test kit, I'm reading anywhere from zero to about two and a half, uh, two or two and a half, whatever it is, um, the lowest on the uh, scale for nitrates. So really happy with that. Uh, I was, I'll just show you down here on the, uh, some side of the system. I was running this one uh, GE household water purification filter here. Just a common filter. I bought it at Home Depot, 20 bucks. Put in the uh, carbon block. Uh, you know, so on and so forth. I've, I've shown that in the video before. And uh, I did an okay job, but I did notice there was some uh, sediment um, and or, uh, you know, impurities in the water from the hardness uh, of the water. So I uh, figured I needed to uh, step it up a little bit and I ended up just installing this just a couple hours ago. I got rid of the old system and I'm installing a uh, three-stage system here. I built this one myself. Uh, I got all the parts off of eBay. I ended up spending about, I'd say, $85, I think it was, maybe $90, plus a couple little fittings. So probably, you know, just under 100 bucks. So I got this, uh, in my opinion, it's a really great uh, setup system. I have a similar system on my saltwater tank, although that is a RODI um, five-stage uh, setup on that tank. But uh, similar principle, but not the whole RODI portion. This is basically just taking out sediment out of the water, and then the uh, two carbon block filters over here are stripping the water of uh, the chloride, I uh, can't speak today, the chlor, uh, chloramines and uh, chlorine, yeah, there we go, long day. Um, so um, it is uh, cleaning the water um, the best I think it can do on this tank, which uh, I'm happy about that. And uh, so here is that setup. I do have a drip emitter. I'll show you the drip rate right now. Not really sure what it is exactly. I've got to put it into a five gallon Home Depot bucket and do that whole 
calibration to see what uh, it is per hour, but that being said, I did just order a few uh, one gallon per hour drip emitters. So I'm hoping to go for the rate of one gallon per hour, which would come out to basically the same amount of water changes I was doing manually in the past. It's going to take care of that automatically for me. And of course, uh, this is the exit pipe for the old water. It goes right down into my uh, waistline in my basement. So, uh, cool little upgrade, uh, to me at least. I just wanted to make this video and uh, just keep everyone uh, posted. I haven't posted a video in a week or two, however long it's been. Not even sure. Um, been busy with work, but I'm also uh, in the process of building all the stands for the fish room in the basement. So. I'm hoping to finish those up this week and start making videos on the fish room. I do have uh, some pregnant females and some uh, females holding. So uh, it's uh, going in the right direction. Really uh, looking forward to getting that fish room up and running. Very excited for it. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll talk to you guys soon.